in an examination of the work of Herbert Quain in The Garden of Forking Paths, part one of Fixiones, the writer Herbert Quain has just died in Ireland. The narrator thinks the obituaries in Time's Literary Supplement and other newspapers don't do Quain justice, comparing him with Agatha Christie and Gertrude Stein. The narrator discusses Quain's first book, The God of the Labyrinth, as similar to a detective novel. In the first pages, an indecipherable assassination takes place. The middle is occupied with a leisurely discussion. The end offers the solution. However, the offered solution is wrong, says the narrator. Those who reconsider the book discover another solution. Then the narrator describes the regressive, ramified, that is, having branches, novel, April, March. The title shows its backward movement, with the months March and April arranged in reverse order. The plot is retrograde, moving backward. The novel's 13 chapters resolve into three separate plots, with three chapters each. Quain says, I lay claim in this novel to the essential features of the game, symmetry, arbitrary rules, and tedium. The narrator says the quality of some of April March is sacrificed to a rage for symmetry. Quain is more of an experimenter than a writer of passion. The narrator describes another of Quain's works, the heroic comedy in two acts, The Secret Mirror. In the first act, there are wealthy people, including a playwright and a general, and the general's daughter, in addition to a nightingale and a knight, and a secret duel. In the second act, the same characters reappear, but with different names, and a sense of menace prevails in which everything becomes slightly horrible. Everything is postponed or frustrated. The Secret Mirror was a success largely because it was misinterpreted as a Freudian comedy. But Quain was used to failure and not happy about being successful for the wrong reasons. Quain's work, Statements, the narrator says, is the most original of his works, doubtless the least praised and the most secret. From this book of eight stories, the narrator reveals, I was ingenuous enough to extract from the third my story of the circular ruins. The ending reveals the first person narrator is a fictitious Borges, but the real author of the circular ruins. Thus, Quain is a kind of distorted reflection of Borges, the author's own secret mirror, to use the title of Quain's most successful work. Because Borges claims Quain has influenced him, it is entirely possible to see Quain as the original and Borges as the reflection. Borges' fictitious criticisms of Quain seem to be about Borges himself. In his fictional critical commentaries, he finds Quain's books over-anxious to astonish. Several of Borges' stories in Ficciones build up to an ending meant to astonish. Quain is also a distorted reflection of Borges, or an anxious one, in that he's not well-known or particularly successful. When Borges wrote this story, he was not yet an internationally renowned writer himself.